Hey guys, I'm Zach. And I'm Shelby. And we're here today with YTV asking the big questions. The why, the how, everything about biodiversity. Biodiversity, what's that? We were fortunate enough to capture a real wildlife park ranger. His name's Greg Kormaniski. That's Latin for park ranger. Oh, I thought it was Russian for mosquito. It is actually. So we've got geese right behind us, lounging in the sun, goose pooping, squawking. Greg's going to show us all the other kind of plants and animals out here. We're here in Gold Bar Park in Edmonton, and we're going to go check it out. Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to find biodiversity. Well, biodiversity is all around us. Wait, what is biodiversity? Well, biodiversity is different types of plants, animals, bugs, all coexisting in a natural area or, or a park system. So what do we have in this park system? Well, we, around us we've got geese, we've got many different types of plants, uh, trees, there's other mammals, birds. Wow, and as a park ranger, you work with all of them? I do. We, we come out here to help protect them and educate people, and by education, that also helps protect them. So, what can I do to help, or what can we do to help protect them? Well, you can come out to your parks, and you can pick litter, join a volunteer organization that helps conserve natural areas or, or the park system. I think that's something we should all try and do. I mean, this is a beautiful park, isn't it? It is. Hey, Zach, what are you doing? Shh, great. I'm looking for wildlife. I heard some rustling up ahead. There's lots of wildlife in the parks, actually. The best thing you can do is the respect for the wildlife. And another big thing is to keep your dog on a leash. Mm. Why would I want to keep a dog on a leash? Well, the dogs are naturally curious about the other animals in the parks, and a dog off leash will be drawn to a wild animal, and this is not great for the animal. So sometimes my dog chases rabbits, squirrels. What happens if I come across a baby animal? Well, the best thing to do with a baby animal is to not disturb it, because you're upsetting its existence and relationship with the, the parent of that animal. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's just Shelby. I see that. Actually, if it had been a wild animal, or a coyote, for instance, which we have a lot of in the parks, uh, the best thing for you to do is to make that coyote feel uncomfortable. You can raise your hands, make noise, throw sticks. Just make it wary of people. Well, I'm looking for wildlife. Respect the animals. Keep your distance. If you see a baby animal, make sure your dog's on a leash so it doesn't go after it leave the animal alone, it has parents somewhere, and if you come across a big animal, just go crazy. Just <laughs> shake and wave all over. Kind of like yeah. you, Zach. Right. Hey guys, we're here at this awesome pond, and I was actually just thinking, Greg, my goldfish would love it here. That's not a good idea, Shelby. You mean I can't bring it to come live with the other fish? No, anytime you introduce a domestic animal into a wild area, you're bringing in an invasive species and it upsets the ecosystem. So that goes too for my cat and my hamster? Yeah, that's not a good idea. So I guess, kids, we should just leave our animals at home where they're comfortable. Even my pet piranha? You have a piranha? Yeah, his name's Fluffy and he has sharp teeth. That's not a good idea either. Hey guys, we've had an awesome day here at Gold Bar Park learning about biodiversity. Greg, you sure have a cool job. Where can we find out more about park rangers? Right here. And Greg, where do we want to go if we want to find out more about biodiversity in Edmonton? Right here. You just have to look it up. <laughs>